Right, that was Silcombe Farm down there. Said hello to two dogs, they didn't bat an eyelid at me. One looked like a Rottweiler, the other one looked like a fox. But they didn't move. I spoke to them though, I said, it's alright, I'm just passing through kids. And they were, they were fine. Um, an old man sat in a chair in his great big farmhouse, looking over his comb. And this uh, is only three quarters of a mile now, which can still take a while by the way. It's three quarters of a mile now to Culbone, Culbone Church. So it's got the service, the order of service um, on the gate there. So this was the this was the alternative path, by the way. If I hadn't, if I'd taken this route instead of the coastal one this morning, this is the route, the path, mainly hedged, but with some beautiful views. So it makes up for it in that way. But I am still glad. I walked through the very lower coastal um, pathway. I'm still glad I'd done that, everyone. And I've, I'm doing a circular and it's turned out to be brilliant um, with breathing space. Um, <sighs> I will be doing a bit of return walk once I get to Colbone. Um, I'll be able to, I'll be walking back a bit of what I've done. The first bit is a little bit of hill, then after that it's all downhill. Back down to Porlock Weir, where I say there won't be nowhere I can get a cup of tea. By the time I get there, this is the trouble with, apparently someone told me with England, is that we shut everything up at four or five o'clock. Once they've earned enough money for the day, they shut. So all those walkers that have been walking for hours and hours, by the way, not those that drive their car and do a little walk. I'm talking about proper walkers. And who've, you know, might have walked like me for seven, eight, nine, ten hours. And all you fancy is a little bit of cup of tea and cake. And, uh... They shut last week. They were just shutting when I got there last year. Look, little family of pheasants there, look. Little family of pheasants enjoying the sunshine. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that scene, everyone. Isn't it fantastic? I'm walking back down now. Beautiful scene there, look, of um, Bossington Hill and the bay, the Porlock Bay. Beautiful scene, and I'll be experiencing that again tomorrow. I'm glad I went out the first day I was here and had a little walk down there, though. Um, I'm really glad I'd done that. Yeah, it's beautiful that is. Over now. Right, I've just come through a gate. Up there, there was a sign saying Colbone Church and Coastal Walk to Porlock Weir, or Colbone Church this way. So, although I am going to Porlock Weir, I thought, well, why don't you try this other path? So they're both going to the church. So, unless there's a big tree across and they say, sorry, you can't come this way. They both take you to the church. So it's a bit of a mystery, but... And I probably should have stayed on the other path, by the way. This is the problem with me. I'm very curious to know why there's two paths to the church. Okay, with it only, like, very close. I can hear the stream. Yeah, I can hear the stream. So I thought I'd just sort of show a bit of this, a bit of diversion that I've done. I don't know, they'll probably converge in a minute or something. I've got no idea. 
All I know is I hope this isn't a wild goose chase coming down this way. You know, they both take you to the church, so I just got to wonder if this one just takes you under under a bridge. There's a bridge, and there was two paths. I was trying to explain it to one of the women, and uh, this might be the quicker route up if you want to go on the Coleridge Walk or something. It's all very interesting, isn't it? I'm very, very close to Colburn now. Right? And I wouldn't want to have to walk back up there because I'd gone on a wild goose chase. We've both come out at the same place, roughly, I should think. But there has always been two tracks. I did say it to this person this morning. They said, no, it said it was shut. But it didn't say it back there, did it? Right, over and out, I'll tell you what happens when I get there. Final stages, folks. I was here this morning, about 10 o'clock-ish. Going on five past ten. I arrived here. And I went inside the church today. I've come up, out from under a tunnel there. On another little, just a small diversion off the main one. I mean, I went up there this morning. I would have come back down there a minute. But isn't it lovely to see this with the sun on it now? You know? Just to get another picture of Colburn and have a lovely walk back up to Borlock Weir. Oh, they're sweet, aren't they? And then, of course, I've those great big rhubarb plants. I came down a track there a minute ago and then went under the arch near a small stream. And now I'm going back <sighs> with time. I haven't looked at the watch, but I've just seen somebody go ahead of me a minute ago, a bloke. He'd come out of the church. So there is someone ahead, but they would stride ahead. I'm, my legs are beginning to feel tired now. Um, I'll just check the time again, everyone. Like I said, I was here at the start of the walk this morning. Lovely little church down there. There's someone mowing the grass. It's quarter past four. We got three hours. And that's plenty of time to get back before dark. I'm very tempted to go back the way I came rather than up the beach actually. And then I can stop at the shop on the way through the village again. So it won't be dark. I think I'll do that. So it won't be a walk from, uh, say, Porlock Weir towards Bosington, no. I think I'll go back the way I came, although it is it's a bit hilly and whatever. There's a church in there. Beautiful church. <sighs> two beautiful churches. Right, what I'm going to do, because this has been videoed before, by the way, coming down and going up. <sighs> and I've got to be careful with my battery. Not battery, me memory card. <sighs> what it is now, there's. This climb up, this initial climb up for a little while, then it's all down. It's all downhill. I mean, I might go up the beach, but it's very stony on the feet. I haven't decided yet. Somebody lives out there. There's two little homes that we can see. There might be something further along. They've probably got their own private way down to the sea. Because it is all private there. But they would know there'd be a lot of people coming about. And they do have church services there. That would be nice just to sit in there when there is a service on. 
I think, to hear the, get the atmosphere. Yeah. Right then, folks. I probably won't be doing a lot more videoing now. I will take, still be taking a few pictures. But until tomorrow, when we walk, when I walk from Minehead to Bossington Hill on the cliff top walk over and out. Right then, folks, back to where I started now. Almost at Porlock Weir. Seemed a long time ago I came up here and spoke to those two old ladies. Walked through this tunnel, which I got on um, other. I got a video on from last year, but I didn't do a video this morning because um, the, there were two ladies very close to me walking, so I only took photos and then they passed me when I got out the tunnel. And uh, so this is like not the to very start because the start was actually from Porlock going up following a a path through on the bordering of wood then coming down to the weir taking a few very few photos and then really heading up here straight away I didn't hang about in Porlock weir at all so uh, this is just really what I haven't decided what I'm doing until I get down here here in a minute there's three options I can get the bus and be just about one left going back I can get, I can go back the way I came this morning, bordering the wood. The tide's in, so I don't know how that affects a walk back. It was in this morning when I was came out, so it's back. And I've been gone a long time, by the way. Yeah, look at that, I can just see it through the, see someone on the rocks, actually. Yeah. <sighs> So we're coming back now, and uh, I'm quite tired now, my legs are like hanging on, and I've still got to walk back to my campsite, right? I've still got about two miles to go yet, over and out, but it's been a great day, it's been a big, big, this is probably the biggest walk, apart from another small video. I decided to come back across the marshes. I've only got a little bit of this pebbly stuff to do. I actually walked up the road for quite a bit before I come down here. Because when you've been out hiking all day, standing on these pebbles is not very nice. But anyway, it's beautiful here. The, sw the waves crashing. Um, two fishermen. He's caught something by the look of it. Look down there, has caught a fish. He's reeling it in now. I said to him, gone fishing? Do you, do you watch that? He said, yeah. Oh yeah, he's caught something. Load of seaweed. Yeah, no, I thought I could not come back this way because um, I got plenty of time. I got plenty of time. I'd rather do this, to be quite honest. Walk back here now like this. I, I filled my water bottle up. So it's going to take me some. I've got two, just under two hours before the sun sets. It'll be going down somewhere. It's behind the hill at the moment. And um, it's been a very good day. Very, very energetic. Uh, quite a strenuous at times. Um, I, I had trouble with breathing before I'd even done any walking though. It, it doesn't always make any difference, the walking, to me breathing. I can get me breathe, I can be breathless for no reason at all, sometimes. The actual walking actually helps because it gets rid of all the stale air, makes your rib cage work, especially going up the hills. It's so healthy for your walking, as long as you're sensible as well. And I'm just taking my time now, I'm doing a little bit of plodding. A little bit of plodding. There's some um, Porlock Weir over there. 
There will be a bus going by in a minute, but I'm not bothered. I'd rather be out here than sat in my van at the moment, to be quite honest. I've got tonight and tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to really take my time coming back across the top there. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be a really warm day. Even though I've done this big walk today, I don't think it's going to cause me any problems. It's just one way as well. It'll be much shorter than what I've done today. So I'll be going, get, once I get off these pebbles, I'll be getting on the marsh, which will be soft on my feet. Absolute beauty over and out. 